हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए ऑन सर्च इवेंट इनसाइड जावास्क्रिप्ट बेसिकली दिस इवेंट कैन बी अटैच्ड यूजिंग एन एट्रीब्यूट एंड दिस इज ओनली अटैच टू ए सर्च इनपुट फील्ड इनसाइड योर इनपुट सो यू कैन सी सो बेसिकली व्हेन एवर यू हैव अ वेबसाइट यू हैव अ इनपुट फील्ड वेयर द यूजर कैन सर्च समथिंग ऑन द वेबसाइट यू कैन सी दिस इज द सर्च इनपुट फील्ड आउट देयर यू विल हैव अ क्रॉस इनसाइड दिस इनपुट फील्ड सो व्हेन एवर यू राइट समथिंग इनसाइड दिस इनपुट फील्ड फॉर searching something on the website and then you press the enter key on your keyboard as as soon as you press the enter key this event will fire automatically and it will say hello world something that you can configure here inside this function let me show you step by step what i am built by this so the basically this is only applicable to the input field which is of the type search so the type must be of search and basically here you can give it an id as well and placeholder we can say search and we can simply it is required also so basically now if you open this this will be a simple input field as soon as you write something here you will now see there is the cross icon which is there so whenever you click whenever you search something here this is the input search field so right here guys so now let me see here uh, now to attaching this event it's very simple we put a script tag here and this is the attribute that we need to attach for this search event which is on search this is the event guys and basically at the time of recording this video this event is not supported on internet explorer firefox or opera it's very new event it's only supported i think in chrome browser so you should definitely check out and here we can simply execute a function which is search and now we can make this function guys which is called as search and here we can simply write the alert statement you have searched something like this so now if you see guys if i write something here and press the enter key you will now see this automatically execute this uh, function here which we have because we have given this attribute which is on search so this is very much useful in those applications guys whenever you want to integrate a search input field inside your website so whenever the user is searching something on the page here you can even just display something let's suppose uh, whatever they type inside the search field we can simply say document dot get element by id we have given the id which is search and we can manipulate the we can get the value which they entered and let's suppose we want to display this value so we can simply say we have got the info here so what we can say after getting this value which they entered and we can simply say that document dot get element by id which is info and we can manipulate the inner html so we can simply say that you have searched for and then whatever they searched we can put this variable right here search like this you can see now if i open this with live server guys basically if i search for something here you will see you have searched for this value right here so again this will change here it will you can see you can see that so it's very useful guys basically if you want to integrate a search input field inside your application this event is very much useful because if you just type a simple input field of type text this is not applicable so if you now, now write it this will this event will not work this will only work for the input field which is of the type search so whenever there is a search input field inside your website let's suppose you want to integrate a search input field where you will allow the user to search something on your website then only this event will work and it's a very new event it's only applicable in the chrome browser it's not working on the firefox opera browser so definitely it's a new event definitely try it it's very important and let's suppose you don't we need to attach it like this by the attribute way you can even attach using the uh, basically javascript way as well so basically we can use uh, add event listener as well add event listener and we can attach this event which is uh, i think it can, it is called as on search and we can execute this function search like this we have defined this function here so you can also attach like this let me just open this and let me see if it is working or not i think the event will be search let me change it so now you can see that it is perfectly working right here you can see that 
you can also attach like this the event is called as search inside javascript whenever you are attaching it using the this approach add event listener there is also a third way also guys we can attach like this uh, not using this add event listener you can directly write here search this is the event here and then you can attach your function you can even write like this define your anonymous function and then paste these lines of code if you don't want to declare a function so right here you can do this like this this also do does the same thing basically if I now execute this you will see uh, I think it is this needs to be on search sorry on search if you are attaching it directly this needs to be on search and if you are attaching it using add event listener that needs to be you can now see basically so it is perfectly working guys you can see that and this can even be shorter as well so let's suppose you are using an arrow function syntax this can be like this you can see that and I think guys it also has this event object as well you can simply console log the event whatever information that the user has searched so let's suppose if I say in the console whatever the user has written it will get have you can see this is the event which triggers this is a search event and this type search here target this input search you can see that timestamp all these properties are there guys so basically whatever they written here so this is the event object which gets returned so this is all about this search event guys on search event handler so you can attach it directly to your html search input field so thank you very much please hit the like button subscribe to the channel as well